What's up everybody? I hope you guys liked last week's video about storyboarding. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to go check it out. The link's in the description below. This week I challenged myself to make a mini documentary about my brother-in-law Ethan's passion for fishing. And after the video, we're going to talk about some tips that you can use to improve your run and gun style of filming. So let's watch the video and I hope you enjoy. I hope. I hear there's a lot of trout in there, but I hear they're also pretty finicky, so we might, we might not, but. What happens if you don't catch it? <laughs> um, it was nice to be in nature. I hope we catch one. See the sign. I think it's a trout pork. This is just a trout and salmon stamp. I have that. I think this is part of it, but it looks too shallow. Um, we can keep walking down a little bit. I think we might have to go to a different part of the stream. I don't know where. I think we can try this other spot. It's near a bridge that I heard. Um, actually, my cousin was talking about it. He eats caught fish under there. So. If, I think that'll be the move. Turn right onto West Granby Road. Put this in here. We're driving to another spot on the stream where I've heard people who caught fish and even my cousin. Um, so yeah, hopefully this one works out a little better and there's fish there. So there's some signs here. The top one says it's a special trout area. So um, basically what that means is that there's wild trout here, which is really cool because there's not many spots that have wild trout. Um, and so basically you, to keep a wild trout, it needs to be a minimum of nine inches. And then you also need a salmon stamp here, obviously to fish. And then there are also juvenile salmon in here, which you need, you can't keep those. So you gotta return those straight away. Nice. Pot a leaf. 
First catch of the day. The destination is on your left. Seven. So, the spot looks like it's under a bridge down this road. Um, I don't know if it's the same stream or a different one, but I know there's trout in it, so. Who knows if there's even a way to get down there. I don't know. This is just... I know there's fish in this stream. I just don't know where to find them. Um, we've checked like at least three spots on this stream and every single one of them looks exactly the same and they got zero fish besides little minnows but I have yet to see a decent sized fish in any of them. Um, a little frustrated. That second spot looked super good, but I just, there was no fish, couldn't get any bites. Um, but I guess at the end of the day, it's pretty nice still to be out in nature, and that's the beauty of fishing. Either way, you're getting something out of it. Hopefully we get a fish out of it, though. <laughs> Please. It's just so disappointing. I mean, the first spots, we didn't even see anything. Then this one, they were everywhere. And I know one would bite. All right. I guess that's it. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess we didn't catch any fish, but it was a nice day, at least. Even if it was raining, at least we got to go out. And we'll get them next time, I guess. <laughs> So this was definitely a different type of video that I made last week about the electric smoker. Um, I had an idea of the story I wanted to make, but with documentary, a lot of times you don't know exactly what you're gonna get. One of the big things that helped me was keeping it simple. I had my camera rigged out so I could do handheld the whole time. It was all in one package. I had the microphone attached and a monitor. I had a battery solution so I could run all day on pretty much one or two batteries. And that really helped me to not have to worry about my gear. I had it all ready and I could film anything I needed to at a moment's notice. I mic'd up Ethan before the shoot and I let him just record the whole time. So I didn't stop that recording. So it was like four hours long of audio I went through. But the nice thing about that is like I never missed anything that he said. I think there was one specific soundbite that I got that I stopped recording and then right after I stopped recording he said a really good line. I was like, oh man, I wish I could have caught that. I hope we catch one. But I was able to cover up, up with B-roll and I still got the soundbite. So that was a, a big lesson for me is to always have the audio on your subject because you never know what you're going to get. Another part is being prepared. That kind of goes along with you know, keeping it simple. When we started filming, 
it was already raining. So I didn't want to get my camera wet. So I got a Walmart grocery bag and cut a hole in it and kind of taped it to my camera. And I, it kind of worked for a while and then the rain stopped and it was fine. But you know, you gotta be prepared. Like if I was more prepared, I could have, you know, prepared like a better way to cover my camera. But before I went out in the rain, I made sure that my camera was protected. So that's something you always have to take, keep in mind is that you're gonna go into places that you don't always have all the controls. So you wanna be as prepared as you can to get the best footage that you can. Always be ready to film, but don't always be filming. Um, a big problem that sometimes I have when I do this type of filming, and I'm not a professional like documentary filmmaker. Uh, I'm just trying and challenging myself to get better at this. But I had so much footage that really wasn't anything. And you have to sift through all that footage, it's gonna take forever. So really be selective in what you wanna shoot. Know exactly the story you wanna make and be always on the lookout for visuals that'll help you tell that story. Think about sequences, build out sequences like him, Ethan getting ready in the morning, you know, putting his gear, that was a really good sequence to get. And then, you know, getting ready to wind up to cast, that's another really good sequence to get, but don't just like film the whole thing. It ends up just being a lot of wasted footage. So I'm always going with the purpose and always be ready to look for the shots that you need to get. And don't be afraid to ask for shots. What I mean by that is don't be afraid, like the sign, um at the park you know i was like hey ethan i'm gonna go out get this shot of the park sign i want you to drive in and park so maybe we already came in and he's like oh, let's go with this shot let's kind of like backtrack sometimes those shots really help you tell the story it's a little bit inconvenient but if you can don't be afraid to ask for those shots because it really elevates um, the storytelling i think well, thanks for sticking around, everybody. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you think, your thoughts, if you have any questions about how I did things, or if you have any um, feedback for me and how I can do better, I'm always open to it. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe so that you can, guys can get notified when I post videos. I'm gonna try to post every Wednesday. And yeah, stick around if you wanna see more content like this. See you guys next week.